Hater Tribe, Elder here. So today uh, we actually got a shipment of our Onnit kettlebells in the mail, uh, which is pretty cool. Every time we get some new toys, especially kettlebells, it's uh, an exciting time around Natural Training Center. So I've been wanting to review the Onnit uh, kettlebells for a while, just really never got around to it. Finally we had ordered some, and uh, to be honest with you, the experience was great as far as online, very simple, all the information was right there, um, no headaches, no, he uh, no hiccups, uh, the shipping was excellent. I opted for the ground shipping because of course it was the cheapest and ended up getting it within a couple days, uh, which is definitely not the norm, especially for heavy uh, packages. So we ended up getting uh, four uh, new kettlebells, two uh, 16 kilogram and uh, two 12 kilogram. And uh, actually over here I have a couple other bells that we use with the Natural Training Center. I mean obviously we have a, a ton of them uh, at our location, but uh, just to give a, uh, a comparable or a comparison. Uh, to make it easier for you to make your decision on which kettlebell would be best for you if you're in the market to uh, pick one up or pick a few of them up. Uh, right from the beginning, just like uh, most kettlebells, or uh, relatively all kettlebells, except the, uh, the uh, competition style bells. They never seem to need this as much, but as far as the uh, these other hard style uh, type bells, there always seems to be a little bit of a burr or something here that'll end up catching. Uh, we do a lot of catch and release drills uh, within Natural Training Center, and it's something that I'm always looking out for, because the more that you're doing this ballistic work, and uh, this kind of handle's constantly rotating, any little bit, or any little burrs, or any little imperfection, uh, will make a big difference uh, in, your, uh, in your training. So the first thing I like to do is uh, get some very fine grit sandpaper, you know, just rip off a little piece, all right, anything that you have laying around, and just go ahead and sand the handle down. Very little, just a little bit to get those main burrs. So it feels nice and smooth, nothing crazy. You don't need power tools or anything like that. Just enough so that when you go ahead and rub your hand on it afterwards, you can feel that it's that much smoother. Nothing's getting caught, obviously. I have a lot of uh, <laughs> black on my hands right now, but that uh, just comes with the territory. So keep that in mind. Um, something that you may wanna look out for, maybe even bells that you have laying around at home already but it is something that uh, wreaks havoc and might even uh, impede your training. So uh, go ahead and give your kettlebells a look, run your hands over it, feel like it's getting caught on something, get that sandpaper out and, uh, and address the issue. So some main differences that I see uh, with the Onyx kettlebells um, as, as, as opposed to other manufacturers, okay? And nothing's either a plus or a minus, it just is what it is, and you have to take that into account uh, when you do uh, perform your kettlebell practice or your kettlebell training. Uh, depending on what exercise or what type of work that you're doing, you know, these having a wider handle, having a deeper handle might actually be more advantageous than having a shallow one. Once again, depending on the exercise that you're doing. And if you do have those choices where you have multiple kettlebells, great. You know, if not, if you only have one kettlebell and that's what you have and that's what you're going to train with, then uh, it doesn't really matter because uh, the only bad kettlebell is not having a kettlebell, all right, as far as I'm concerned. So keep that in mind. A lot of hype out there, just like everything else. Um, but find something that works for you, find something that you can get a great price on, find something that you can get great shipping on, okay? Going back to the Onyx kettlebell, that kind of answered all three of them. The price was great, they're always running some kind of sale, uh, I ended up getting free shipping on these, so that alone is just, it's great. You know, a lot of times it's better than saving 20 or 25% uh, on the initial price because shipping a lot of times is, especially when you're going for the 12Ks or 16Ks, they're almost half the price of what you're paying for the actual belt. So you're gonna spend that on shipping, so that free shipping is key. So keep in mind, when you are looking around, that these little things make a very big difference, okay? Uh, and it seems like Onnit is aware of this. You know, they came into the market, they're kind of doing all the things that the other guys were kind of lagging in because, you know how it is, once you get comfortable, you think you're not replaceable, but, you know, then when somebody's a little bit hungrier than you, they come out and they start addressing issues that some of us have been telling the other manufacturers for years, all right? So, so far, so good. And what I want to do is basically put them through a little bit of test, all right? Do a couple little catch and release drills with them and uh, just keep it real so that we can give a good review and an honest review um, so that those of you that are watching can make a uh, valid decision on what's best for you, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, play a little bit.
get some.